Noobcast. Greetings, fellow noobs! Welcome to another Noobcast. Yes, 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 yes. This is Blomus. This is a 1v1. This is Shake Your Ass Plateau. And we are here with Nasty Nate, our silver Protoss, and his opponent, the blue Zerg, Nick. Now, Nick... When we do this all the time, Nick's name is either Nick or he's being so super uber clever and saying that Nick is his nickname, that Nick is his Nick sunglasses. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, delivery was poor. Delivery was poor. In any case, welcome to Noobcast. If you're unfamiliar, we are all about shining the light of esports on non-pro gameplay. We want to see amazing, amazing games come out of the lower leagues, even as low as bronze, man. We are not picky. We just want to see awesome games. So if you would like to join us on the quest for amazing noobdom, Please send your replay to noobcast at gmail.com. I will send it through my crack team of um, screeners. And if it is super duper baller, meaning it's there's not a ton of turtling, meaning it's not a one and done attack, meaning it's not super one sided, um, then your game will get cast by myself and if you're super duper special maybe even star girl yeah she is um she's limited in her contract her contract says that she is only allowed to do super baller games and often that means she gets to do all the pro games but every once in a while every once in a while because she she <laughs> just will not stop asking me to do one and we don't have a pro one I, uh, I'll do one of yours <laughs> with her every once in a while. Um, yeah, Nick throwing down the uh, the hatch. Got to get that economy going. Nasty Nate doing everything standard here except for this. Mr. Nate, Mr. Nasty Nate, why you got an idle pro, Brahma? If I was playing with... Um, Arcanite, this is what you'd see. Oh, man, I wish I could ping. I can't ping. I want to ping the board. Why can't I ping the board? Why can't I ping the board? I want to ping. Nate's... Oh, man, he's going to get away with this probe. Is he going to get away? He's got, like, one HP. Yeah, he's one HP. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, oh, no. Oh, he's, oh, he's got some shield back. Look at you. Run away, sucker! Bring it back home. What are you still doing there? <laughs> Finally, it dies. Gas going up for Nick. Uh, the thing it, about lower level play is you don't often see crazy builds. Most, especially in silver, guys are trying to iron out their macro. And so when we watch games like this, we don't watch with a critical eye. We don't watch and say, oh, um, he's got too many drones or not enough drones or he's got his gas way too early. Uh, what is, you know, for the build that he's going to be doing? Um, if we wanted to coach Nate or Nick, then we would do things like that. But right now, we look, we kind of look past those things. If there's something obvious like this, like we saw the probe not in his right place we would point that out if uh, units are in bad positions we point things like that out um, because those are things that uh, you know everybody knows that macro is the key to this game and everybody who plays no matter what level if you're not a pro you need to improve your macro pretty much that's the way it goes we got zealots attacking here oh that was some nice little uh, micro there by Nate trying to keep the zealots from getting hit but the queen is faster than zealots on creep, so yeah, there you go. Have send one to kill some drones, easy peasy. Now these lings are gonna come out. This zealot is done for, and so is that one. Very nice by Nick, uh, just biding time. This he probably made too many lings. Remember when I just said I wouldn't say things like that? I lied. 
Um, this is probably too many links to deal with the two zealots. You probably could have made... Oh, 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 Nick, Nick, Nick. Half of that. Half of that. More than enough to deal with two zealots. That's the thing you need to do as Zerg. And this is a weird opening. Because, I mean, Banelings are going to beat that to the ground. Um, we see Nick getting his lair. No other tech, so he's just doing Lings right now. Um, and Nate getting his expansion up and running, getting his gas. Still only a couple zealots. Now, if Nate was defending, I'd say this is great. He could put a zealot here, he could put a zealot here. Cannons firing away, the links can't get in. Um, really good defense. Um, if Nick is defend to defend for Nick, this is too many links. Uh, if he's going, if he wants to get offensive, then you know then it's okay if he thinks he's going to be able to get a run by then uh, do it, which he could do in this particular setup because these zealots are not properly placed or in hold position uh, to deal with a ling attack he could completely run by and either go in here and kill probes or go into the main and kill probes but anyway like I was saying um, I point out major errors that I see as I pick up uh, not to be critical but as a as a teaching opportunity because which I need as much as anybody and the, again more links wow we do have speed finished for Nick um, he doesn't have any Evo chambers so these are just regular old 1-1 one -one links and if he wants them to be effective if he doesn't want to just throw these links away he's gonna have to get some Evo chambers up and uh, oh, he's going right for a spire so he's going for Ling Mut Mutaling and he's gonna attack with these links I'm not sure I like this um, Nasty Nate wants to get these guys in position. No, they can just run straight by. No, don't go after the... Yeah, get run past, run past, run past. Take half your lings. Go up to the main. Take half, go to the main. Yeah. He, he could have easily taken down both of those things. Unpowered everything. Oh my goodness, Nate. He's going to lose so many probes. Phoenix not doing anything. These lings are just being left to their own devices here. Uh, Nate's not mining at all. He's going to actually send his probes. Never, ever send your probes to attack lanes. No, 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 no. Never, ever, 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 ever. Never, 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 never. And, uh, yeah. You can actually leave. He's done so much damage. You can actually leave. He has done a ton of damage. He's killed 13 probes. You can actually just get out of dodge. Kill a couple more probes on your way out. Don't go after the cannons. Just leave, just leave. Very nice, very nice harass by Nick. That was just just fantastic. Like, really, really good. Really good job. And he's doing great. He's keeping up with his injects. His queen energy getting a little high. Could probably connect his bases with some creep. Probably a good idea now that he's got some extra energy. And now he's got seven mutalisks coming in as well as 12 more links. But the phoenix are out for Nasty Nate. They're going to be able to deal with the... Uh, Mutalisks, if they are macroed well, I wonder if we're going to see a fleet beat. No, this I don't think this game is. I think this game is pre-patched. So, scratch any possibility for fleet bacon and phoenix upgrade. About eighty-five percent sure that this is pre-patch replay. Haven't worked my way up yet, guys. Sorry, I always get lots. I've got lots of replays in the queue, you guys. I love you for it. This is not a complaint at all. Don't hear it that way. Um, but you know, you guys send in a lot of games, so. And I don't like to skip anyone. It gives me an opportunity to be choosy, which I like to do. But I don't. we don't like turning people down. And we only turn people down if the game is really not good. Um, if there's an obvious just one-sidedness to it. Or, um, you know, there's some turtle-ish things. Phoenix, are they in here? Just Must be just for scouting. Uh, what are you doing, Nate? You moving out with like three units and two Phoenix? This is not good. Get your phoenix together. If you're going to scout, scout. Where are those mutas? They're in the main base. They could be killing more probes because there's nothing back here to stop them. There's phoenix on the field, but there's only four of them. And that many mutalisks can easily take out four phoenix. Ling's moving out again. Going to catch that zealot. And he's going to die. 
and they're going to go right back home. If you can do things like that, that's great. Picking off units here and there. We see it all the time in the pro level. Um, it's not as important at this level because one unit is not going to make or break you. Um, but obviously at pro level, one unit is, one unit in a game wins or loses you the game, that's for sure. Um, not really the case here. 22 more links, 3 more mutas. We've got plus 1 attack working at the spire. Still no upgrades, no uh, evo chamber for the links. And my advice to all you Zerg players who don't already do this, definitely get an evo chamber. If you're going to use links, you definitely want to upgrade them. 1-1. One, one. Oh, look at this with the... Uh, Oh, they're going to die before you even get there. Why you make hallucinations? You're not going to be able to use them, brah. And Nick going for the Ninja Expo, getting the Ninja Third. These guys are going to die before they even get to the front for, to the front of your base. They're going to be completely useless, completely pointless. They're going to serve to... Yeah, they're already gone. So you can make them again, but then what's the point? My goodness, this is starting to get a little bit turtly here. Um, I think maybe what Nasty Nate was doing was forcing, thinking, thinking he might have been thinking that he was forcing Nick to make more units, but Nick doesn't need any help. He is making a ton of units and just straight up two basing. Um, I don't know how Nick is going to survive this. He doesn't have enough Phoenix. Uh, he's only got two, he's got two void rays. He's added a stargate and a bunch of gateways, but uh, he's not making enough units. He's he needs pylons. He's going to be supply blocked in a second, and now he's about to lose a butt ton of probes, losing all of his probes in the main. Needs to get back here with his phoenix and his. See what was that? Why are all these cannons among your buildings? Your workers are what you need to protect, and these phoenix. There's way too many mutalisks here. Way too many mutalisks. Everything should die here. Oh, now we got the stalkers in. If he hallucinated some more phoenix, maybe the mutal... He's actually going to make these mutas run away, which is quite a feat because these mutas probably could kill everything here. Yeah, it would have been pretty even. Maybe an even trade. There's quite a few stalkers there. Um, but now... Nate's economy is in tatters. Um, yeah, Nasty Nate's economy is in tatters, and Nick has his third base up here if he chooses to do anything with it, but it looks like he's going to move out with his lings. He's going to hit the front with the lings and come in from the back with the mutalisks, I'm guessing. He's going to need to go now because these lings are going to die quick. There's a lot of lings here. And actually, he's, the force fields are pretty good. They've kept the lings from getting any kind of surround and the mutalists are coming in from the back um and wow 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 that went in s I know exactly what happened and you saw it you saw all those lings bunch up over here in this corner they were focused on a single unit for some reason uh, probably a misclick by Nick, he clicked on one unit and all the lings were trying to get in this one spot when there was this big wide open area over here where they could have gotten in and gotten around to the back. Um, that went really, really badly for Nick. And now, now he's in trouble because he's down 30 food or 20 food and he's, uh, and he's not doing anything with his third. He's got a ton of minerals. He can make butt tons of lings, but he can't make anything else. And he's not even mining anymore in his main. Oh my goodness, he's in trouble. He needs to get over here. He needs to get the gas. Don't just wait. He made a queen. Congratulations. Yeah, you definitely need to keep Nick, keep Nate from getting a third, but you're still going to be in trouble. Because you're both basically mining off one base right now. But you could be mining from two if you would just move your stuff over. Come on. Nick, wake up, brother. What are you looking at? Let's see. What are you looking at, Brohan? 
Yeah. Hello. And here comes the army. He's moving in at the top. Taking the towers back. Finally, the drones make it over here. Hopefully, he makes some um, more. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Oh, my goodness. So many hallucinated colossus. Six hallucinated colossus. Four hallucinated void rays. This is actually pretty good on Nate's part. He's going to scare the pants off of Nick. Probably get him to GG. Probably get him to GG before he even needs to. Oh, don't, please don't focus down. Oh, look, he's not even taking, he's focusing on, oh my goodness, he's killing the, what is he killing? He's killing all of the, oh, look at that. I didn't know, hallucinations survive after the sentries that created them die. Now, I'm going to bet that if, man, I wonder how, how effective those hallucinations were because oh my goodness is he gonna clean up these stalkers oh my goodness is he gonna clean up these stalkers he is oh my goodness he's gonna clean it up very nice job and here comes some phoenix though and that's gonna end all of these uh all the hopes and dreams of these mutalisks very nice job by by uh, Nick, and he's making a bunch of more lings. He doesn't have any gas. He can't make really any more mutas. He didn't make any extractors over here, so. La, 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 la. Yeah, so the problem is lings can't hurt void rays. That's the problem. He doesn't have a muta over here. But yeah, that's going to end this game. And there it is. Where's the GG? Sorry, sorry, Zerglings. There's nothing for you to hit. There it is. The GG. Alright. Um, this replay goes on for another four minutes, so I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> gonna make him find that base yeah we're not gonna do this I don't think good game you already said GG so that's gonna be that uh, thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it I'm sure that in the next four minutes we see three hatcheries come up he injects all of them he tries to make some more units and get some gas and make some mutilists or whatever and but he's gonna lose it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen so we're not gonna watch it because once you say GG, you should mean it. And you should leave the game. If you're not ready to leave the game, do not say GG. Peace out, brothers. Keep climbing that ladder.